What a finish tonight. Tonight, the Boise State Broncos took on San Diego State for their final home game of the season. And this game had everything. An insane atmosphere from the crowd. A close game to the very end. And if you watch us for your sports coverage, likely the result you wanted to see. Let's jump in. The Broncos welcome over 12,000 fans to take on SDSU on senior night. Lucas Milner taken into the starting five tonight. Now, last time out, rebounding was an issue. It was not the case tonight. Max Rice can't get it to go, but Chabuzo Abo coming in with the offensive board puts that one away. Now, later on, Tyson Dagenhart would continue an impressive first half scoring streak. He gets a great dish here from Marcus Shaver Jr. And the sophomore cans the triple. He was six of nine from the field tonight with 14 points. So the first half back and forth for the most part, but SDSU with a slight advantage. But check this out. Max Rice drives in, gets the layup to go somehow the Broncos are down third or and the Broncos are only 30 to 27 at the half and that might be foreshadowing for what you're going to see later on in this game you'll see what I mean later but first off let's start the second half right Marcus Shaver Jr. pulls up on the step back three knocks it down for the big time bucket in his final home game later on Jace Whiting on the drive gets another senior playing their final game at the X Najee Smith puts away the three ball this game continues to go back and forth Najee would finish the night with 10 points but Things would get a little dicey at the end. Boise State down nine with under five minutes to play. But Max Rice would have the hot hand tonight. He knocked down back-to-back -back threes to put BSU back on top. And while the crowd was erupting, making the Aztecs real uncomfortable, he took advantage on defense, coming up with a big-time steal, turning that one into another bucket to stretch out the lead. Ice in his veins. From there, Boise State took care of business from the free throw line, and the defense stopped SDSU from scoring a single point as they attempted to turn the tide. The Broncos pull off the win 66-60 to over 18th-ranked SDSU, a team currently first place in the Mountain West and that crowd that was so crazy throughout the night. Yeah, they stormed the court after the game. Tyson Degenhardt and Ajay Smith walked us through how special it was. I mean, that's like if you could drop a perfect situation, that was that was the game. I mean, you know, they, they made some good stretches. They're a really good team. And, you know, I was just so proud of our, our guys and, and how they just how we just stayed together, even in those moments when it got super tense. We, I think we were down eight at one point in the second half. So just so proud of how we stayed together and we just fought through so much adversity. Uh, it, it felt great. It felt like all the fans were behind us. It felt like we got a new wind and it just was a great surge of energy. It's kind of hard to explain. It's almost like a phenomenon where everyone's just kind of in it all together in one goal. It really is hard to explain. Now, during senior night celebrations, Max Rice was among the four Broncos honored. But don't worry, he's taking advantage of his COVID year and returning next year, coming back to the Broncos. After a game like tonight, you should start celebrating. He scored a game high 26 points on five of eight three point shooting. But most importantly, he dominated the final minutes with a performance that borders on historic as far as BSU goes. They're talking about him right now on SportsCenter. After the game, he walked us through the final stretch. Well, as best as he could remember it. Honestly, it's kind of a blur to me at this point. Uh, some of the plays just kind of like meshed together. Um, yeah, I banked one in, I think, at one point. Uh, my teammates just kept getting me the ball, though, feeding off the energy. Um, shoot, I, I couldn't dream of anything better than this, sending out my one of my best friends right here uh, with a huge win that, in my opinion, secures us in the NCAA tournament. Um, and if it doesn't, then there's a lot of things wrong with that tournament, but I think it does. 